Chris, thanks. 614 this morning. The U.S. and China, they are said to be closing in on a trade deal. And Amazon may be launching its own grocery chain. Jane King is live to NASDAQ with some morning headlines for our Monday. Hey, Jane. Hello, Ted Lord. Good morning. Yes, those folks at Amazon busy. They plan to open dozens of grocery stores. Now, the Wall Street Journal says the move would expand the retail and tech giant's grocery footprint beyond Whole Foods. Uh, the first of these stores will said to be opening in Los Angeles as early as the end of this year. Now, here's what Americans plan to do with their tax refunds. On average, taxpayers expect to receive us about $3,100 back from the IRS. That's according to Go Banking Rates. The top use for this money is to pay down debt. 27% of people say that is what they'll do. Tied for second is putting it in savings and making a major purchase. Well, the Wall Street Journal reports China and the U.S. are in the final stage of completing a trade deal. Now, reportedly, China offering to lower tariffs and other restrictions on American farm, chemical, auto, and other products. And Washington is considering removing most, if not all, sanctions against Chinese products. A summit between the two countries could happen later this month. The Dow was up Friday to close out the week. About where it started, the S P did rise above 2800 for the first time since November, and we're looking higher today on the reports of this China deal. Life in the Nasdaq, I'm Jane King, back to you, Ted Lord. All right, Jane, thanks so much. We'll be sure to check back tomorrow. Thank you.